Number 8. 1992 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 69 read by PCGS. This coin is on the verge of achieving numismatic perfection. Both sides radiate vibrant coppery orange mint luster with pinpoint striking definition and excellent surface preservation. It was sold for $1,743.75 with buyer's fee. Number 7. This is 1938 D Buffalo Nickel with repunched mint mark D over D graded in Mint State 67 plus by PCGS. According to Ron Guth, the 1938 D D Buffalo Nickel is a common, but popular, variety. The mint mark shows clear doubling from having been punched into the die twice. Mint state examples are available by the thousands, often in gem condition. MS67 plus graded specimens are scarce with just five finer according to PCGS census. Number 6. This is 1957 Jefferson Nickel in PR69 condition. Comes with cameo designation. According to PCGS, in PR68 condition it is much scarcer and tougher to find. Anything grading higher than PR69 is almost unheard of. PCGS reports just three specimens with cameo designation in this lofty grade. None are certified finer. This one was sold for $2,950.88 with buyer's fee. Number 5. This is vividly toned 1932S Washington quarter in MS65 plus condition. CAC proven key date issue representative. Extraordinary premium gem quality for a key date Washington quarter issue that enjoys strong demand throughout the numismatic grading scale. Delicate champagne gold toning on the reverse gives way to brilliance on the obverse. Both sides are fully frosted in finish with a razor sharp strike and outstanding surface preservation. The Great Depression served to limit coinage of many denominations during the early to mid-1930s, and the quarter was no exception. At just 408,000 coins struck, in fact, the 1932S has the lowest mintage in the Circulation Strike Washington series. This specimen fetched a sum of $4,612.50 with buyer's fee. Number 4. Another toned exquisite quarter dollar. This one a proof issue. 1942 Washington quarter in PR 68 plus condition. A grade later was approved by CAC. According to NGC, proof sales rose about 40% over those of 1941 and would have continued their rapid climb, were it not for the interruption of World War II. This turned out to be the last year of proof coinage until 1950. The Philadelphia Mint coined some 28,000 proof quarters just to have the 21,000 offered for sale. An additional 123 appear in published figures, but these coin were reserved for a say and subsequently destroyed. The proof quarters of 1942 were well made overall, though the problem of overpolished dies left many coins with poor or missing details among the design features of lowest relief. Gems are plentiful through PF67, but examples grading higher are very rare. This PR68 plus gem ended up selling for $6,019.88 with buyer's fee. Number 3. 1961 D. Lincoln sent in MS67 plus red condition. According to PCGS, the 1961 D. Lincoln sent is one of the worst struck scents from 1932 to date. Finding sharply struck superb gems can be really troublesome. PCGS population of MS67 gems are comprised of just 20 coins with none numerically finer. Only 4 specimens including this coin with plus designation. It was sold for $6,468.75 with buyer's fee on October 22, 2023. Number 2. This is 1966 Roosevelt Dime from Special Mint Set. Graded as SP69 Cameo by PCGS. According to NGC, in 1964, the United States faced a coinage shortage. Due to this, the mint ceased production of normal proof coins, which required significantly more work with dye and planchet preparation. As a substitute, they created the special mint set, which contained coins that weren't quite proofs, but were clearly of a higher quality than normal circulation coins. This allowed the mint to place more resources into producing coins for circulation. These special sets were issued in 1965, 1966 and 1967 before normal proof production started once more in 1968. This specimen was sold for $7,143.75 with buyer's fee. Number 1. And here is 1951 Lincoln sent in MS67 plus red condition. 
Despite a generous mintage and a high survival rate in mint state due to the saving of original rolls, this issue is rare in MS67RD. The culprit seems to be an overall dull color and light staining as the result of the planchet cleaning process. This issue is nearly devoid of collectible varieties. This CAC proven superb gem ended up selling for $9,056.25 with buyer's fee. That's all folks. Thanks for watching this episode. As always if you are interested in posting your coins for sale, you can check out our website. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Take care.